Does my PS5 really need two mics for a capture card stream setup? No, it just can't be. How about just one? For commentary, for game chat, for party chat. One mic to do it all. The very first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is connect that microphone or headset to your computer and double check your settings to make sure that microphone is set as the default input audio device. After that, you're gonna to wanna to go to PlayStation's website and download the Remote Play application. I left a link in the description below so you guys can follow along in this video. But go ahead and download that and log in to your PSN account through this application. If for any reasons you guys are having issues enabling remote play, you're gonna to wanna to go into your PlayStation 5 menu settings and double check that the console you're trying to remote play into is set as the primary console. Once you've done that, you can go to the system settings option, scroll down to remote play, and then you should be able to enable the remote play feature. And now with PlayStation 5 remote play up and running, you should see a mirror image between what you see on your PlayStation 5 and on the remote play application. Now, if you tried using the controller with your PlayStation 5 during the remote play session, you probably found that it wanted you to log in as another user or just completely turn off the remote play session. But we don't want that to happen, obviously. So just connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your computer. So you can do this via the USB cable or you can do this via Bluetooth. All you need to do is press and hold the home button and the create button at the same time for about three seconds. You'll see your controller flash up and then you'll be able to pair it with your computer. And from playing games online with this type of setup, I experienced no significant input delay or latency for that matter, using with what I would say is average quality internet. Next up, we need to make sure that our capture cards are connected properly. So up on screen right now is how you're gonna wanna set up your HDMI inputs and outputs, as well as the USB input into the computer for the Elgato capture card setup, in case you're not familiar with how this is connected. With this particular setup, we're gonna be pulling all of our audio over HDMI and on the PlayStation 5, you're gonna to wanna to go into your system settings and make sure that HTCP is turned off. From there, you can go into your OBS or Streamlabs desktop application, add a new layer and select the video capture device. Name it whatever you like, select the first drop down, and choose your capture device. And from there, you have your gameplay picture. Now I gotta give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Own TV. Own TV is a graphic shop with complete packages to personalize your live stream, including high quality overlays that come with alerts, animated transitions, and banners. There's also hundreds of pre-made sub badges, emotes, and Elgato Stream Deck icons to select from. But if you want something more custom, Own TV has a make your own tool for creating custom emotes, badges, and logos to give your channel a professional look. Click my link in the description below and use code MIDNIGHTMAN at checkout for 50% off your order. Okay, we got our gameplay showing in OBS and Remote Play still up and running, but let's confirm that we can get our gameplay audio, chat audio, as well as being able to be heard at the same time. So to set up the commentary audio within OBS, just go to your settings, go to audio, and choose your microphone. You should then see that the microphone audio source is added to your mixer along with the capture card audio. Now, if for some reason you don't see the gameplay audio source, you'll wanna go ahead and add a new source and select the audio input capture option. Choose your capture card from the drop down list and then just remember to set your gameplay audio to a comfortable listening volume. So somewhere within the green levels where it's not peeking into the yellow section like your microphone would. As for listening to your game and chat audio, you should be able to hear that directly from the Remote Play app. Just be sure that your microphone function isn't muted so that way your party can hear you through Remote Play. Now when I play with my friends, whether that's in a party chat or game chat, I'm able to hear their voice and their audio is recorded through the capture card into OBS and they are able to hear me as well all through one microphone. Not two, just one. To pair your controller back with your console, you're first gonna to wanna to disconnect the controller from your computer, and then using the USB-C cable, connect the PS5 controller to the console and then select the PlayStation Home button, and that will allow you to reconnect it. 
Definitely try this out for yourself, guys, and let me know in the comment section of this video how it went for you. This will require a quite significantly specced out computer because you're, you're remote playing as well as trying to record your gameplay at the same time on top of streaming. An underpowered computer is just gonna struggle trying to do all of these activities simultaneously. So just be aware of that. But thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.